The new normal for businesses right now, uh, you know, requires stringent health and hygiene protocols be followed at all times. So most organizations, including schools and universities, may now require a dedicated and qualified occupational health and safety officer present on site. This allows a rise in new job and career opportunities for South Africans in this field of study and profession. For more on this, let's now chat via Skype to uh, Sanet Nell, who is from the Oxbridge Academy. Sanet, very good morning to you thanks for joining us welcome good morning and thanks for having me let's uh, perhaps start with understanding what the occupational health and safety is absolutely um, according to the south african occupational health and safety act any employer that employs more than 20 employees needs to have a dedicated um, occupational health and safety representative and Though those individuals would be responsible for ensuring that the relevant policies are in place and that risks and hazards are identified timelessly and that solutions are found um, accordingly. So how has the coronavirus pandemic given a rise in demand for professionals um, in the occupational health and safety field? Um, because of the coronavirus, I believe that companies are more aware uh, of the importance of having a safe space. Occupational health and safety has always been one of the most popular fields of interest at Oxbridge Academy. But since the, the pandemic hit the globe, we've seen a further demand. Um, and the reason for that being simply because so many more businesses need to ensure that the employees are indeed kept safe and that the relevant measures are in place. Now, take us through some of the important occupational health and safety related activities that have surged recently due to this pandemic. Yes, specifically to Corona, that would be to ensure, obviously, that we all uh, maintain our social distancing, that we use the hand sanitizers um, and that everything um, inside the company is safe in the sense of uh, employees wearing their masks. So the duties of OHS officers would be to manage these risks uh, and to do site inspections and to investigate any workplace incidents that, that could possibly be any threats. So what are some of the open doors that are available for occupational health and safety officers in the world of work? Um, typically, if you're already in the workplace, a good idea would be to upskill yourself by doing a short course in OHS so that you can then take on additional responsibilities in your place of work by performing a function like this. Um, should you want to make a full-blown career out of this, we would recommend that you do an accredited course. Uh, for instance, uh, then you can work in, uh, in environments like the mining sector and hospital sector, and especially in factories where stuff like ventilation would be a crucial element to look out for. So how can people that are interested in pursuing this career or speciality uh, begin with their qualifications? There are many options out there. Um, we, for one, offer quite a few. Um, as mentioned, there are short learning programs that would give you the skills and knowledge you need. If you want to uh, uh, do a, a full career in this, we would recommend doing an accredited course. There are options through a number of institutions at Oxbridge Academy. We offer SIOSH accredited courses. SIOSH is the South African uh, Institute for Occupational Self and Safety and Health and very soon we will also be launching an occupational certificate which is fully accredited by the QCTO. It is on NQF level 5 and once you successfully complete that course you will have the designation of an OHS practitioner. So if you are interested, a college like ourselves offer this via distance learning which means you can further your education whilst being in the workplace. And who would you say this career field is for? I mean, what, what kind of people are best fitted for OHS? Very, very good question. Uh, this type of role has a high form of responsibility. So we recommend that you need to be somebody who is detail orientated um, and you can also uh, troubleshoot and identify risks and problems. You also do need very good communication skills because a big part of your role as an OHS representative or officer would be to work closely with an HR manager in training employees and on-site staff uh, in terms of the risks and hazards that they should be aware of because safety starts at home and we all need to know how to keep ourselves safe. 
Let's now talk about how this career field is going to be beneficial post the coronavirus pandemic. Yes, post coronavirus, it would remain a very relevant field. Um, even when we find the vaccination and, and we will all be safe from this virus, risks and hazards within the workplace would always remain. It could be things that are simple like electric wiring that one needs to look out for, tripping hazards so that staff don't have injuries on the job. Uh, depending on the field and the industry where you work in, we as humans always need to be kept safe so the job opportunities would always be um, there and the demand would remain high. I've often heard terms safety officer and safety representative and uh, I do understand there is actually a difference between those two. What's the difference? The difference between the two is that a representative would be more uh, entry level position where you do that in addition to your main role. So that would be an added uh, part of your portfolio. An officer is someone who is a little bit more qualified. Um, so you need relevant uh, tertiary uh, training in order to do such a firm function. So depending on the industry where you work in uh, and the regulations required, that would be a more qualified position that uh, requires formal education. So can they work as a team? Yes, they do work in teams and many, many um, uh, companies do have both. Uh, they form part of a big committee working hand in hand with the uh, HR manager. Okay, uh, do you want to maybe share with us some of the best suited institutions that can offer courses in OHS? Uh, yes, uh, a number of them are out there. I've, I've mentioned um, ourselves, we are Oxbridge Academy, but then highly recommended would also be a company called NOSA who offers courses in the Samtrack division. All right, Sanet, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me and keep safe, everybody out there. Goodbye. Most definitely. Thank you so much. That was uh, Sanet Nell from the Oxbridge Academy. And she's been speaking to us about the rise in demand for the occupational health and safety officers in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic.